All right, you may uh, you may possibly be aware of the fact that the Super Bowl is this weekend, which is a great time to talk to our friend Trevor Maddich, who you know is an ESPN analyst, Comcast Sportsnet, former Redskin, Redskin analyst, and it says here three-time Emmy winner, sports analyst. So, so this will be an easy question. Uh, for you, Trevor, regarding Dan Snyder. We're debating this morning. Is he a bigger wuss than a jerk, or is he a bigger jerk than a wuss? <laughs> well, that's a fair question. Yeah. Uh, that's the way to start it off. <laughs> yeah. uh, no one will leave there. You know, yeah. The thing is, this is that's the practicality of it. That, that's how it sounds, and I think he's getting a lot of grief uh, for it. But there's also a principle to it. And the principle is, what if he's right? What if in the midst of what is in my opinion, a real serious, cheap shot, petty hack piece written by this reporter. What if in the midst of that there is actionable, libelous, false, and misleading reporting going on, and he just decided to, to take the personal hit to his reputation to make a stand on principle? And I think we'll find that out, because now he has to win this lawsuit. He has to win it. Yeah, which is because very hard. It comes across as just incredibly petty on his part. Well, it's hard to win these lawsuits. I mean, you know, speaking historically, I don't think there are many libel lawsuits against members of the media that have actually gone in favor of the person doing the suing. No, Brian, you're right about that. And, uh, and the way it's being portrayed right now in the media, it sounds like he's doing something that uh, former Redskins owner Jack Ken Cook used to do, which is just sue his opponents, sue his sort of enemies, until they run out of money. Right. He had plenty of money. Then he just drops the lawsuit and keeps on rolling. Because you can, you know, with different motions and legal maneuverings, you can extend a lawsuit and it ends up costing a whole lot of money. And if you don't get paid court costs, you can still break a guy even if right. he's right. You know what? The, that's... If, he, if he doesn't win this lawsuit, it'll look like that's what he's doing. And so that's why right now it's very precarious for Dan Snyder whether or not he's right. Honestly, my, my theory about this is, is that he's not necessarily going after the city paper, Dave McKenna. This is sending a message message to the rest of the media, and maybe even especially the Washington Post, because he had a lot of problems with the Post and the Times, that if you mess with me, if you do something that, uh, you know, is, you know, besmirches my reputation or something that I don't like, you're going to get hit with a lawsuit, get paid to open up, get ready to open up your wallet. Yeah. It's almost like, you know, a mobster is what he's doing. But, but and that, that's a good analogy, because, you know, unlike Jack Kent Cooke, who for the most part was popular with fans because they liked the way they ran the team, Dan Snyder can't say that and and unfortunately if i were if i were uh representing the the respondent in this case assuming it comes up i would make a point is this is a guy who's claiming there's a kind of a bigotry and and profiling and he has a team called the redskins i mean you know maybe 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 dan mckenna ought to fire ought to hire a native american lawyer to defend his case <laughs> Yeah, that, that's actually pretty funny right there. And that's where all the perception comes in. Yeah, I mean, well, but now, you know, it is. this is all about perception. I mean, it is a lawsuit, but come on, it's really a big public relations flap, isn't it? Well, it's a public relations nightmare if he does not win the, the lawsuit now, because all these things that were brought up in that article, you know, a lot of them were indisputable. Yes. But some of them were, were questionable. A number of them were real low blows, like bringing Dan Snyder's wife into it in a real, in a real negative spin on what actually happened there. And also, listing is one of the things that Dan Snyder did heinously wrong is hiring Dan, uh, Al Saunders with a 700 uh, page offensive playbook. Give me a break. You're going to get a guy for a 700 play uh, page playbook. Everybody's got a 700 page. All right, playbook. but 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 you Trevor, know, he's a pu- petty. he's a public figure though. I mean, this comes with the territory. And and by the way, he can respond in many different ways. I mean, he has a, he has his own radio show. I'm sure he could go on Comcast. He could come on this radio show or go on many different radio shows and answer these critics without having a lawsuit. That's right, and that's why this thing is, is such a public relations uh, nightmare for him, because now all these things are being dredged up and talked about everywhere, where if he hadn't answered this at all, it just would have caused a little minor stir for the seven people that would have read it, and that would have been it, and then Snyder would have been judged based on next year's Redskins team, and that's basically it, but now he's being rejudged by all the things that he did badly as an owner when he was a new owner, and also by things that really are unfair he's being judged by as well. That's why I come back with the concept of principle. If it's true that in the middle of what, in my opinion, is a cheap, low-blow hack piece, if there are some things in there that are libelous relative to the legal definition of libel, and if he wins that lawsuit, then I think he's okay from a principle standpoint, and you've got to respect his 
standing on principle. If this is merely intimidation of somebody that he can't control in terms of spinning the message, then it'll, it'll take a long time to live this down, if ever. So he's in a very precarious position right now. But right now, I do not take the position by default that he's wrong on the principle, we'll find that out in the lawsuit. All right. Speaking of winning, we can't let you go without finding out who you think is going to win on Sunday. Well, you know what? The, <laughs> I, this is a tough one to call, Fred. Uh, this is really tough to call. And I think that Green Bay will win this thing. Really? And there are a couple of reasons, yeah. Just uh, to start with, I think they're better on the offensive line, especially with Steelers' Marquise Pouncey, either or center, Marquise Pouncey, either out or 